Okay, in this video I'm going to show you some of the advantages of using Photoshop's adjustment layers. So these are found in the layers panel window and they're found here under this little yin yang circle. And if you click here you'll see that there's lots of different kinds of adjustment layers. Now normally if you wanted to go in and say for example change the color of an image you might just go straight to control and U. That would open up the hue and saturation dialog box and then when you go here to change the color of the image by moving the hue slider or if you go to desaturate the image by moving the saturation slider down and click OK, it's actually a permanent fix to the photograph. The actual photograph itself has changed color or in this case it's lost color. So that's a direct impact on the image itself. There's a much better way to do things and that's to use adjustment layers. So if I come here to an adjustment layer, I've got hue and saturation, plus I've got lots of other adjustments that I would normally use as well, such as levels or curves or black and white. But if I go to hue and saturation, what this does this time is it creates a separate layer in which the adjustments are going to occur. So the adjustments are very similar. You have hue, saturation. So again, if I was to change the color like this, OK, uh, and then just click off anywhere, What's happening here is that this adjustment layer is making changes, but the original photograph is really untouched. It's almost like a filter effect that sits above your photograph, applying the color changes using a filter. I can switch its visibility on and off, and there's my original photograph. So I haven't actually applied it permanently to the photograph underneath. So that's a real great thing about adjustment layers. The other thing about adjustment layers is that unlike previously, I can go back in and double click here and readjust the adjustment. So if I decide to change my mind later on and go, actually, I will go black and white, I can come back in and make the changes by simply double clicking on this thumbnail here. Of course, adjustment layers come with layer masks as well. So if we activate the mask, we can come over here and paint with black. And therefore, we can stop that adjustment layer from working wherever it's black. So it's not making the image black and white. It's showing the original color come through. Uh, just undo that. But that's the adjustment layer there. And that's the layer mask. Like I say, you can come back into the adjustment layer and, and re-edit everything that we've got there as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just open up another image as well, because this is a common issue that people have. So if I just open up uh, this image, and then I come and drag and drop this image in here as well. Um, and let's just move it into a position, so say about there, that will do. Okay, so one of the issues is, is that if I place this image underneath the adjustment layer, so if the adjustment layer goes at the top, the problem is, is that the adjustment layer affects all images. So if I just resize the elephant, what you'll see is that both the elephant and the orangutan have turned black and white. So this adjustment layer is having a global effect. It's affecting all other layers that sit below it. So you may have 10, 20 layers sitting underneath this adjustment layer. They're all going to go black and white. So how can you just get it so that this adjustment layer only affects this image directly below it? Well, one way that you can do that is you can hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, place your mouse right on the boundary between the adjustment layer and the image directly below it, and you'll see this little arrow icon appear. If you click, you'll clip this adjustment layer. This is known as a clipping layer. So you clip it so that this adjustment layer now only affects the layer which is directly below it. In this case, it's the elephant one. So only the elephant one turns black and white, and any other layers that appear below that retain their original color. So that's a nice way to clip adjustment layers if you just want them to affect a single layer and not several layers that they appear above.